Team Space Ghost battle to stop Zorak from unleashing an apocalypse of galactic proportions comes to a brutal end with casualties on both sides of the fight. Do they succeed in saving the galaxy and keeping everyone safe? Not entirely. Let's talk about it in our review of Space Ghost number 5 from Dynamite Comics. See you in 3. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Space Ghost number 5. You know, between Space Ghost and Johnny Quest, Dynamite may just have the secret sauce to adapting classic adventure properties. Space Ghost number 5 is another rip-roaring adventure with drama, thrills, edge-of-your-seat tension, and a satisfying conclusion. But before we dig into the current issue, let's recap briefly what happened in Space Ghost number 4. Zorak escaped from prison to continue his quest to bring forth the god of chaos known as Lorak, an all-consuming destroyer of worlds. He worships this god, and he wants to bring that god forth into our universe to bring about chaos and a form of entropy that only a world devourer could make happen. Space Ghost ordered Jan and Jace to stay behind while he tracked the dangerous zealot because he thought it was too dangerous, and there's some undercurrent feeling of familiar protection as though Space Ghost felt like their father, and that's partly due to the motivations we saw in earlier issues. But the siblings answered a distress call at a scientific research station nearby, figuring the two paths wouldn't cross each other. They decided to go off and check it out. And they didn't realize until later, unfortunately, that Zorak laid a trap for Space Ghost's protégés. That brings us to the current issue, Space Ghost number 5. We see a team of security forces remaining on standby outside the research station, which contains a Hadron Collider. This is on Drax 3. The Collider has been commandeered by Zorak and his followers, which he brought with him from the prison break. Suddenly, a streak of fury blows past the security detail to knock out Zorak's bodyguards and confront the villain in the form of an enraged space ghost. Writer David Pepos leaps straight into the action by sending our hero hurtling into the thick of Zorak's forces. Thanks to the groundwork laid in previous issues that spell out Space Ghost's motivations, we know the hero is desperate to protect Jan and Jace as if they were his own family. And you can feel that desperation in Space Ghost's demeanor and actions throughout the entire issue. You're going to hear this word over and over again, drama. It's practically dripping off of every page. During the confrontation, Zorak threatens to kill Jan and Jace, but he offers a bargain instead. If Space Ghost directs the full power of his bands at the Hadron Collider, which would tear a hole into our dimension, allowing Lokar through, Zorak pledges not to kill Jan and Jace. Cornered and out of options, Space Ghost agrees, especially when Zorak gives him a little bit of a nudge by activating the vacuum chamber Jan and Jace are trapped in. David Pepos' super strong script makes the grade for a tension-filled sequence of scenes. Say that five times fast. But equal credit belongs to Jonathan Lau on art for the angst and gut-wrenching choices Space Ghost is forced to make. And there's that word again, tension. There's that word again, drama. There's that word again, angst. It's all there. It keeps coming through and practically smacking you in the face. Let's get back to the action. What neither Zorak nor Space Ghost realize is that Blip managed to escape, knock out the guards to the vacuum chamber with a blaster, and free Jan and Jace. The siblings and the monkey race to find Space Ghost directing the full force of his bands on the collider, causing a rift in reality. The arrival of Lokar is at hand. What makes this moment so strong is the anguish Space Ghost feels over creating the rift and the shock of realizing that Lokar is indeed real. Remember, throughout the entirety of this two or three part series, Lokar was spoken of as this god that Zorak worships, but nobody really thought it was real. But here we find out, yep, it is indeed real. Pepos and Lau crank up the drama, there's that word again, action and tension, again, to the max when our hero is faced with a galaxy-consuming threat. The issue concludes with an all-consuming swarm that nobody wants to swat away because they're just too big, a risky ploy which may wind up causing more trouble in the future, and a heavy price for villains and heroes. Overall, Space Ghost number 5 is a serious, edge-of-your-seat thriller that plays the threat to the galaxy and our heroes completely straight. Doesn't take it as a joke, doesn't play it like a cartoon. This is serious action adventure to the max. If David Pepos and Dynamite keep this up, Space Ghost will earn our bid for title of the year. Let's switch gears and talk about the art a little bit more. Again, Jonathan Lau's artwork deserves a healthy share, maybe even the majority of the credit for how well this issue turned out. Every page and every panel is jam-packed with drama, again, 
wow moments, and visual eye candy of the highest order. This comic looks fantastic. From the character acting to the action, both in equal measure, both done fantastically well. Let's take a step back and look at this series and this issue in a broader context. Space Ghost aficionados may recognize the name Lokar as a crotchety insect type character who originally played a rival to Zorak in the Space Ghost cartoon. Here, Lokar is a world eater of monstrous proportions. So the name is shared, but the characterization is vastly different. This is not your mama's Space Ghost by any stretch. Final thoughts, what do we think about Space Ghost number five? It's another winning entry in the series when Space Ghost is forced into an impossible situation. David Pepos's script hits all the right notes with editor seat action, gut-wrenching drama, and a titanic challenge for our heroes to overcome. A large amount of the success of this issue, again, is due to Jonathan Lau's artwork, which nails the energetic action and deep emotional beats in equal measure. Therefore, Space Ghost number five earns another well-earned for Dynamite 10 out of 10. It's amazing how entertaining a cartoon adaptation can be when a creative team puts their whole heart and soul into it. But what do you think? Is Space Ghost the best of the recent wave of classic adaptations on your pull list? Leave a thumbs up if it is and drop a comment below with which Space Ghost villain needs to appear in the forthcoming issues. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review, check out all the preview images and variant covers, and buy this comic to help support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.